Good evening. Well, don't say that I didn't warn you, because it began in June and July last year. As the number of small boats crossing the English Channel increased, we noticed something different about those in the boats. Yes, they were starting to come in ever-increasing numbers from Albania. Yes, Albania. Albania, a country which is a holiday destination for many, many British people, a country that is an applicant member even of the European Union and from which absolutely nobody should ever be able to claim refugee status. And yet the numbers came and they kept on coming and the government did precious little. And it was so obvious from all the adverts on TikTok that these young men were coming not every single one, but most of these young men were coming for one very simple reason, to work in the illegal crime economy in this country. Well, we learn today that in the first four months of this year, 80 Albanians that have come via that route have been convicted in court of crimes, some of them very serious. I'm talking murder, I'm talking rape, I'm talking abduction. And of course, in the vast majority of cases, running illegal cannabis farms. Well, if that wasn't bad enough, just have a think about this. You know, four years ago, Albanians were the 16th highest category of foreign prisoner in British prisons. They're now the number one. And, you know, perhaps that's no surprise to you. But the most big shock, biggest shock of all is that 12,000 Albanians who crossed the English Channel have now broken their bail terms. They cut off their tags or whatever it may be and simply disappeared and gone off in many, many cases into criminal activities. Now, look, when I was warning about this last summer, I was called all the names under the sun. How dare I pick out a specific group of people and apply a tag like criminal to them? But it was obvious to me we were simply allowing criminals to cross the channel. What annoyed me about it was not only did they not qualify for refugee status, but that the first duty of government is to defend the country and to make sure its people are safe, which clearly isn't happening with these Albanian gangs. The government in the end did take some action and a thousand or so Albanians have been deported back to the country. But what about the 12,000 that have simply gone missing? And what about if more start to come in the next few months when the weather improves? I think the whole situation is frankly appalling. It shows total gutlessness from our government. And my question to you is what should be done? Give me your thoughts. Give me your views. Farage at GBNews.com. As far as I'm concerned, anyone that comes across the channel or in the back of a lorry from Albania should be deported back to Tirana within 24 hours. And if you do that, you know something? They will stop coming.